Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and let's see what we can code in 5 minutes with Zim. We'll go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We'll press on Code, and we'll copy our template. But before we proceed, we're going to be loading in an image of an asteroid, as well as a sprite sheet image, and some sound. And if you scroll on down to Templates, here's some more templates right here. One of them is for assets. There's a security issue, so here we are loading Welcome in an asset, to <laughs> as well as sound, as you can hear. We'll view the page source, and if we scroll down, there's some instructions. Uh, control U to view this, the page source. There's some instructions on what you need to do to your Chrome, allow file access from files. This is, this is all JavaScript when you're dealing locally with images or sound. It's a security issue that you can set to, to get by. So it's no big deal. You do it once. But then you need to open up your Chrome from that uh, shortcut. Okay, so just follow those instructions and you will be good. I'll turn that back on. I don't hear anything anymore, but that's no big deal. Okay, so once again, that was in the um, assets of ZimFrame, which came when we scrolled down towards the templates there. All right, we have our copy then. We're ready to go. Let's go into some code. I'm in Atom. We paste in the code there. And uh, then we are ready to go. Okay, well, let's start the timer. We're starting the timer and see what we can make in five minutes. So we will get rid of that stuff. Cladunk. Put your code here. Now uh, we're loading in assets, so let's do that up above in the frame call. Var assets is equal to, and we'll make an array of assets. So asteroid.png, there's the boom.png, this will be what's called a sprite sheet. There is a boom.mp3, that's the sound. So there those are, and there here's the asteroid, there's the boom, which is eight, eight columns and six rows. These are all in an assets folder. So var path is equal to assets slash. And we tuck those on here in the frame. Please load our assets and uh, find them at this path. So that loads them in, which allows us to access them here, like um, const um, asteroid is equal to frame dot asset singular, and then we say asteroid dot png. Yeah, see that? And we'll dot center reg that on the stage. That makes sure it's registration points in the center. Like that, we'll match that up later. Um, okay, so we save that up and we'll right click and say open in browser. And there's our asteroid. Uh, super. Okay, um, we want to click on that thing and make it explode. Asteroid.on, we'll apply a method, the mouse down. We'll call an arrow function there, or just a function, and we will say asteroid. I can do it. Dot remove from. That will remove it from the stage, but then we'll need a stage dot update. So we copy that, and that updates the fact that it's been removed. To see that we can click on it too, we'll go dot cur and tuck in a little chainable cursor, which defaults to a pointer. So we refresh there, there's our pointer, we press and it goes away super duper. But we want to run a sprite sheet, so we'll make a sprite sheet, or a sprite const um, explode, <laughs> explode is equal to a new sprite. And this is an animation. We will load in the picture, which has uh, um, the grid of these pictures. So that, that was called boom.png. So that's the first parameter is what picture are we getting this from? And then we can say eight columns and six rows. There's other ways to make sprites too, but that is one. We'll dot center reg that as well. Center, well, we don't want to really add it yet. So we'll just leave that and we will add it when we explode. So that's down here. Explode dot center reg that makes sure it's registration points in the middle. Now that's going to it's going to be in the same place as the asteroid, but just in case the asteroid moves, you can always locate 
at the asteroid. Isn't that neat? So if the asteroid's in some other place, that, that will work. And we'll also run it uh, for 1,000 milliseconds. So a second. So that makes the explosion there. Let's have a peek. And we refresh here. And oh, it's a little small. I also want to be on black, don't you? Don't you? So there's color. We will say be on black, please. That's the color of the whole thing. We'll make the uh, the asteroid the new frame here, new sprite, a little bit bigger. Dot ska two, and let's check her out. Refresh on black. Yeah, sure. We just need the explosion. So let's get that explode sound in. We have one minute left in our five minutes, and that would be the same way that we access the assets for the images, but this time we say boom.mp3. So there we are accessing the frames mp3.play, like so. And we can set the volume there and whether it's looping, etc. And we refresh here, refresh. I don't know. Oh, there, I heard it. I heard it. Refresh. There she goes. Okay, all is well. Nice. And pause the timer. We did it in four minutes and 38 seconds. We have an excellent asteroid on the page or in space and we are exploding it. Isn't that cool? So that was code in five minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. Uh, come on in to Zim, zimjs.com. And if you're, uh, if you're still here and enjoying these things and want to work with Zim, then you should join us on Slack, zimjs.com slash Slack. Ciao. Tell your friends too. And share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Share these things and give them, give them thumbs up and likes and join us on CodePen and Twitter and, and, and. Woohoo.